back in the barn. Well, some of you may recognise this. One of the previous videos. Looking a little bit different now. Got the old staircase in. So that was fit, fitted, and then I applied. Um, I think it was Ron Seal water-based diamond hard um, it was a clear finish that I put on matte finish it's looking really neat just another view off the staircase so today I'm here to take a look at the mantle on the fireplace there's an oak mantle sitting there which needs waxing so we'll take a look I've got my sheets down and I've already sanded this down and just give it a wipe over to clean it off. Vacuum the dust off first and then give it a wipe down with methylated spirits and then just leave it to dry off. So this is ready now for waxing. So you can see I've got to work round near the walls. Unfortunately for me, this isn't quite finished. As in, some of these edges, there's a little bit of a gap. So, I want to put some lining paper down. All the way round. Where I can, to keep it off the wall. And if I do go on the wall, I'll have to touch up. Okay, so with this, the customer doesn't want it as light as the floor. There's a lot of colour differences in these beams. So it won't be too bad for me to get a colour for that um, mantle. So I take in a clean, damp cloth. Just wet the dirt in there. So, just by using the damp cloth, you can see how dark it's took it. So if you were putting clear or natural on this, then you're looking at something similar. With the natural one, maybe a little bit darker. So then obviously you start going on to light oaks and medium oaks, and then deeper than that. So you can have an idea of where you want to take it. These two, clear and the Georgian medium oak, um, these were what I brought with me, taking into account what the staircase and floor was looking like. But my customer doesn't want this looking like the floor. So it was a rustic pine, which can take it a little bit deeper. Well then, there's the dark oak, which Looking at those beams, it's probably going to be a better match than using, well, certainly any of them two, and rustic pine. So that's the choice. I put some paper against the wall, tucked it in down the back, so that'll give me some protection on the wall. Now, when coming to apply this, you need lint-free cloths. You don't want to leave any fibres in the finish. So, good lint-free lint cloth. And then, depending on how rough this wood is, and I sometimes apply with a brush, with there being some corners, that's what I'm going to use. If you need to. So, cloth and brush for applying, and then a clean cloth just to give it a rub over afterwards, and gloves. So, I've got my cloth ready, got my wax, and I've sat it on a cloth, and got my brush, and it really is a matter of just getting it on as quick as you can. 
and then we'll look at it once we've got it on. to work it up to that edge. The wood was quite tight against the wall here so I wasn't able to cover it but no worries I will be able to touch it up. Really, I'm scrubbing it in. Now, when you're working with this, you do have to be careful. Notice how it will splash. Keep moving along, being really quick because I need to be able to get back and start to wipe this off. have to be fairly rapid with it because it does dry fairly quick this stuff. So I'll just keep cracking on.
You can see sometimes why you do need a brush to get this in because I've just got the edge of that brickwork there which using a cloth would be um, a lot harder trying to mask up and get to that so using a brush you're able to fix that. So once this is coated up we need to remove the excess wax. So with your cloth start to rub this out. Always going with the grain. Remembering when wiping down, broad strokes, always with the grey. Oh, it's looking quite smart that now. Well, that's just had its first coat. Well, what I will do is I'll leave it to dry, probably about an hour, and then I'll come back and I'll put a final coat on. But we'll only use the cloth. Won't use a brush because this has been sealed now, so it's only a matter of just getting a bit more colour into it. Well, final coat being applied now. Goes on a lot easier. It's not really darkening it off that much. You can just see the. Once we give it a wipe with a clean cloth, that'll be right. So it's a case of just keep rubbing it. And what I'm wanting to do more than anything is for the um, the lighter areas are going to be a harder grain so the wax won't soak in the same. So anywhere where there's a slightly softer grain it'll deepen the colour but still retaining the brightness behind. And with the clean cloth just wipe it over again, buff it off. 